It's Medical Monday on Wisconsin Tonight, where tonight I'm joined by interventional cardiologist Dr. Scott Weslow with Aurora Bay Care. And tonight we're talking about something that a lot of winos are going to be very excited about, how your heart can actually benefit from a little wine. So yes. how is this possible even? Well, that's true. That's been looked at for a long time. It has. And it's uh, been proven through a lot of studies that moderate alcohol intake can be beneficial for the heart. And the key word here is moderate. The key word is moderate. So we have to define moderation, right? Right. So it is defined in these studies. And if you're a male, you can have one or two drinks a day. A if day. you're a female, you can have one a day. If you're over 65, one a day. Mm -hmm. And usually they would like it if you paired it also with a meal. Uh, correct. Then it has less effect, less intoxicating effects in case you break it down slower than other people, mm -hmm. right? Right. So what the studies are basically saying is that if you take in moderate amounts of alcohol on a daily basis, you can reduce your chance of heart disease by 40%, some studies up to 70%, wow. and reduce your chance of mortality by heart disease by 18%. Okay. Well, that sounds like quite the amount of benefits yeah, with deal. just one glass of wine a night. So what right. you're saying is you can't have two glasses to double that effect. Doesn't double your benefit. <laughs> Actually, uh, heavy drinking and binge drinking, mm -hmm. and binge drinking being for a female anything more than four at a time, for a male, anything more than five at a time. If you binge drink or drink heavily on a daily basis, not only do you lose that cardiac benefit, but you also increase your mortality from other diseases. Okay, so definitely don't want to overdo it. Moderation the key as always. Moderation is the key. Now, are there any warnings that you want to mention when it comes to this? Right, so uh, we do want to say that if you're not a drinker, we don't, based on this data, recommend you start drinking just for this benefit. <laughs> okay. okay. And also, we do want to caution you that even though moderate alcohol intake can be good for the heart, um, you have to weigh that against the risks of liver disease, uh, stomach problems, and breast cancer, which have been shown to increase with alcohol intake. Okay, so definitely something to consider. And also, it's not just red wine, is it just alcohol in general, or is uh, great red question. really right. focused? Uh, alcohol in general is what I was talking about mostly here. Okay. The, the, the study's initiated with wine, and that's why wine got a lot of good press, and red wine especially has more antioxidants than most kinds of alcohol. But in the studies, the benefit bared out even with any kind of alcohol, not just red wine. Wow, so definitely something to think about this holiday season if you're considering whether or not to have maybe that one glass. Absolutely. Not going to hurt the heart, but clear it with your gastroenterologist first. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much to Dr. Scott Weslow. For more information on heart health or Aurora Bay Care, you can, of course, visit our website, NBC26.com. And remember to join us every Monday talking about health issues that affect you and your life.